three, two, one. Hi, it's Tony Hagelgans with Southwestern Coaching. I'd like to take a quick second to introduce the people who help make this possible every week. I've got Costanza Zarita, my executive producer, attending my video conference, and our engineer, my faith abundant son, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. Hey, how many of us out there are starting to feel fatigued through these coronavirus stay at home orders? You are? I'll bet you're not alone. And the reason is people prefer control and they prefer certainty. And there's two things that this pandemic is reminding us that are certain in our lives. First is death in this world, and the second is living with ourselves. This pandemic is firmly reminding us of these two certainties. And here's the thing, we're living with ourselves more than ever while staying at home. <laughs> and while we're living with ourselves, we're forming these habit patterns. These patterns can be just the ways we talk to ourselves, the way we talk to others, our disposition, even what we do during the day. We actually have control. We can choose good habits or bad habits. So here's the thing. The more good that we do and the good habits that we do, the freer we become. Ponder that this week. Hey, one way to think about habits is really, is are my behaviors matching my goals? Generally speaking, when people answer that no, they lower their goals. But you could also change your behavior. So here's the thing, and my challenge to you today is, if you're feeling fatigued, have you lowered your goals, or have you adopted bad habits? And my encouragement to you today is, Change your behaviors. The number one way to fight fatigue. Listen, my partners at Southwestern Consulting are experts with helping people change their behaviors. Reach out to me if you can be of any help. Hey, continue to like, share, comment on these videos. I just get one like this week, knowing I'm impacting at least one person. I'll be back again next week. Hey, pulling for you, love you. Be a person of impact, make it a great week.